What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be starting the Psych Engine Lewis series. I'm sorry that I'm a bit late. Um, I'm going to try to get out another video today to make up that I didn't upload yesterday, but we'll see. Um, so today we're going to be talking about variables. Now, variables can be numbers, strings, floats, all this stuff. So if you guys remember, we can go into our scripts folder and make a .lua file. Let's open that up. And this will basically run on any song that you launch. Now, let's just quickly do a function on create, which just happens at the absolute start of the song, before the countdown and everything. We're going to define some custom variables. We're going to be talking about using built-in variables a bit later. So let's say... Num number. Yeah. So this can be called anything. You can call it dash cooldown or whatever you want. I don't know why it'd be called dash cooldown. I just said a random thing. You gotta want to do one equal sign. And this is a number. Sending a variable to a number will define it as a variable, like a number variable. Let's call it five. And then let's define a Boolean. So this could be true or false. Again, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just making this so that you know what each of them are called. And then we have a string. This is, you can put it in quotes. Let's just say pizza. We, we want the pizza to be capitalized. So let's, uh, let's uh, do something with this. How about that? Um, so once you have your variables defined, and you understand the basic concept of these three variables. We can do another function. And this will be on update. Which just happens every tick that the game is open. So I do believe there's 60 ticks in a second. I'm not sure. But every time the screen updates, it will... Well, I guess this depends on your frames per second, yeah? So every frame, this runs. So we're going to... How about this? We're going to increase the number, so the number should be equal to number plus one. So this will just make it so every updated frame, it will add one to this number. And then we're going to use debug print, which will print something um, onto the left of the screen. And we can just do number. But let's only do this. We're going to do an if string is equal, equal, equal. Make sure it's equal, equal. That's very important. To pizza, then, and it will go kind of grayed out. So you can just do that. Also, if you aren't using Visual Studio Code, then that might not autocomplete. Just type it like this. So there we go. We're also going to do function on step hit so basically i think there's 16 steps in a section 
Um, you'll see a little curve step in the top right of the chart editor, and you'll you can base this off of that. So every time the curve step changes, which is 16 times a second, I or a section, I do believe, we're going to check if the curve step, which is a built-in variable. Which just grabs the curse up from the song. We're gonna do equal equal to let's say 32. Then we're gonna change the string to be equal to only one equal. Pizza, that's not capitalized. So that should stop printing the number. Let's see what this does. We can try this on any song because I put it into the scripts folder instead of any song's data folder. Okay, so entering Buffy Bow. Just look in the top right corner. It's all going up. Okay. And there we go. It stopped eventually. Because it stopped printing. It stopped doing its thing because pizza if we go ahead and also debug print string, and then we restart the song. So something really cool is with Lua, you don't have to completely reopen the game. Just restart the song and it'll be all there. And now look in the corner. It prints pizza. As you can see, that's not capitalized anymore, so this is not running. I hope that gives you a general understanding of custom variables and how you could use them. Now, let's see. Let's also make it so if string is equal to pizza, we're going to do get property. No, we're going to do set property, which sets like a like health or misses or built in variables, basically. So we're going to do health in this case. And then one of these and get property. Health. So that just gets the property 0 0.1. So let's see what that does. As you can see there, I'm full health. I can miss as much as I want. And I will never stop increasing until now. Because that's not doing anything anymore. Now there's a lot of other things you can do with this. You can do set property misses. So let's say 15. So you're just stuck at 15 misses. Until it stops. Did I do something wrong? Oh, I did misses instead of song. Song misses. Make sure that second one is capital. I think that should fix it. Yep, there we go. 15 misses, but if I miss, nothing happens because it's stuck at 15 misses. But now it goes up. All right, but yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this tutorial. Now, something I haven't mentioned is the wiki over here with the Lua script API variables. Um, for the get property, there's a few shortcuts you can use. But, um, you know. That would, I don't think they're really needed. I think this works just fine. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, Lua tutorial and want to see more, Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, bye guys.